No matter who's elected, North Dakota will have a new member of the U.S. House. Justin Gick is here to tell us more about Republican Tom Campbell, a former state legislator. Justin, what did you find out? Monica Allen, when Tom Campbell announced his campaign last Friday, I wanted to find out what he is all about. He told me today, farming and compromise. Tom Campbell hails from Grafton and is not your typical politician. He's dabbled in real estate and banking, but his core business is farming. He started a potato farm from scratch right out of high school. Started that with a $9,000 loan um, from a bank back then. It was nothing but probably more than junk, but it got the job done. And the farmers across the world were laughing, but I was happier than ever uh, living my American dream that my dad gave me fighting in World War II. Campbell served in the state Senate from 2013 to 2017, and it was during that time he met Kelly Armstrong. Campbell originally was mulling a run for governor. However, after speaking with Armstrong, both came up with a solution. It would have been a, a, a big, ugly fight, a lot of money spent. Um, and we just figured that, or I kind of approached him and said, you know what, let's take this energy and work together. I want to run in the House and you can run for the governor. Campbell is now the second Republican to enter the race for U.S. House. He faces Rick Becker, who is trying to shake things up. He also faces Democratic challenger Trig V. Hammer. It was not a surprise that Tom jumped from saying he was going to run for governor to running for House. Um, Tom, although a very nice guy, is not a conservative. As for his platform, Campbell has an extensive list. However, there are two things that are most important to him. The top thing would be listening to what the people have to say and probably cutting cutting uh, the excess spends in, in Washington and, 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 and moving it on to uh, a world that our kids and our grandkids can enjoy and living. If he makes it to Washington, Campbell says there are a lot of things he is looking to change. I've I'm, I'm always been a good compromiser and a man that tries to get along with everybody. And, um, and I'm going to bring that to Washington to, to try to see if I can do that as well. To, uh, because right now it, it's just, it's, it's a 50-50, uh, so polarized. They're right against the left, and I'm just going to try to see if I can fix that. But for now, Campbell is just getting started with his campaign, and he is on the road, looking to visit 244 cities across the state. Campbell says voters should also know he is a man of faith and plans to put people over politics. Monica Allen.